Welcome to Dan ARG YouTube. Emmanuel Agbogun say, Now we the Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki don't put law to punish Okaihile for Edo State. He de use the opportunity they introduce Uyi Igebo as criminal Okaihile to the Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki. Make I leave you now, make you hear from Emmanuel Agbogun. I want to introduce to the Governor of Edo State one of the most terrorizing and criminal oriented Okaigele who enjoys the support of the military who in fact does not have regard for the Nigerian police force who the DSS is even scared to arrest I want to introduce to the Okaigele uh, to the governor, sorry, no other person than Okagele Uyi Gebo and his deputy Emmanuel Agbedo, aka Malo. It's not no news. These two people and these their subjects. One of Sapan Wai Demo, the police have been looking for and the DS have been looking for for issues of kidnapping. And this Egosa. Uh, they all conspired to shoot these two persons with AK-47. Abuja Aruti came to Edo State to arrest them. They used AK-47 to drive them from the community. Are we live? Yes, uh, I want to believe everyone who will be joining us live will be hearing me very well, unlike what we had. The last section that we just took off the internet. I want to this very moment send salutations to all conscious Edo people across the globe. I remain no other person than yours, noble right activist, comrade I Bogu Emmanuel. And if you are watching us across the globe, I want to say a warm good morning, good day. Good afternoon, good evening to you all across the globe, wherever you are watching from. I want to start by saying that Martin Luther King once says that the hottest place in hell is reserved for those persons who during moral crisis choose to remain neutral. As I am today, I believe I'm a stakeholder in those states. As I am today, I believe I'm an advocate for a better society, an agent of a prosperous Edo, and a philosophical and nomenclature that believes in equality, rule of law, and justice as far as Nigeria is concerned. This very morning, I want to speak on the ban of Okaigeles as far as Bini Kingdom is uh, concerned. As you all know, over 48 hours ago, the executive governor of Edo State, via a statement and a broadcast, with security chiefs ranging from the military, the civil defense, the DSS, and the police to place a ban on the Okaigele ship activities in Bini Kingdom. However, we want to believe that in all of these issues, of injustice that have been meted out by these elements. A vast majority of them across the seven local government has occurred more in the Pubaoka local government area of Edo State. And as somebody who has not just been an advocate, but has been a part and parcel of ensuring that victims, victims of these 
Acts of Archangelis are brought to book. I want to believe that where many persons have a belief that some of us are biased. I want to believe that why biased minds like us are on the forefront to ensure that these persons get justice. I want to believe that every right-taking person should understand that we have already taken a side on this issue. However, one of those persons that we have fought for and we believe that deserve justice because they are alive to mention those persons who shot at them to mention those persons who mobilized thugs to shoot at them those persons who are known or kaigeles and their deputy or kaigeles in their community those persons who are the real criminals who are ensuring that bad name criminality injustice wickedness is ascribed to the to the to the to the to the position of our kaigeles as a traditional norm and way of life of our people to ensure that our traditional communities and native communities are secured and developed in line with the Benin native laws and customs this group of persons have decided to carry out activities that are known to man and the law that are criminal in nature but they still parade themselves in the streets of Benin as of Kaigele, even till now that we speak i want to introduce to the governor of Edo state one of the most terrorizing and criminal oriented of Kaigele, who enjoys the support of the military who in fact does not have regard for the nigerian police force who the dss is even scared to arrest i want to introduce to the okaigele uh, to the governor sorry no other person than okaigele uyigebo and his deputy emmanuel Agbedo, aka malo it's not no news these two people and these their subjects one of Sapan who the police have been looking for and the DS have been looking for for issues of kidnapping and this egosa uh, they all conspired to shoot these two persons with AK-47 Abuja Aruti came to Edo State to arrest them. They used AK-47 to drive them from the community. My very self, I wrote a petition to the 4th Brigade and copied the office that the 4th Brigade, who these people are always close to, that the 4th Brigade should arrest these persons and hand them over to the police up to date they are not being arrested as we speak they are still in their communities occupying the stool of okaigele now my governor i want to speak to you directly my excellency you are the executive governor of edo state truth be told some of these criminals are enjoying a very robust cover because of politics otherwise i don't see a reason why these two persons have not been caught and made to face the full rot of the law some time ago some few weeks ago you will agree with me that you were aware that your uh, 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 dg for your party campaign for your aspirant in your party I just want to go down low in the person of Honorable Matthew Dwekeme. People from his community were arrested because of the actions and inactions of these persons. Now, as we speak, though 
over four to five persons have been murdered in that part of Benin. No single person has been held accountable for those murders. Whereas the police is aware, the DSS is aware, the military is aware, the civil defense is aware. Nothing has been done. A shift from this issue I've just raised, sir, is that along the corridors of Sapler Road, along the corridors of Sapler Road from Ogege Junction up to Olobo, some group of persons have declared themselves that they must be the ones to install Okagele in any community. So therefore, they've been moving from one community to another, encouraging crisis. I don't want to mention names of community for now. I just want to start up with this. Let me see if the government and your action that you have said, sir, let me see if your action or your words will be backed by action. Because these people are not only criminals, they are terrorists. When I mean they are terrorists, they are terrorists. So if it is true that we have banned courtesy, because I have not seen officially where the governor was signing it to law, I only saw a statement where the governor said it has just been signed to law. I have not seen any formal event where it was appended that the governor signed it to law. But the truth be said, if courtesy has been banned, there is a very big difference between the activities of Okaigele and the activities of Curtis, all of this court number one that is killing people in Benin, your government know them. They have an address. As we speak now in Ibobai, we cannot sleep with our two eyes closed. The entire streets are deserted. Because why? Some group of persons say they are fighting court war. Between the AA, sorry, between the IAs and the Mafites. That that is what they are doing. So therefore, over three lives have been lost in this part of Benin. And this is something that we are not known, that is not known to our society here in Ibobai. Despite how they fight around the city, it has never come here. So now that it has come, I want to believe that the security agency should, in all fairness, Invite all these members of the secret court, whether black ass, whether uh, AA, whether Vikings, whether uh, Tutu, name them, as many as they are in the states. They should invite them to come and take an undertaking. Or rather invite them, or rather place a ban on all the activities in the states. Because, as I speak, I am not the only one who have said it. Yesterday, I saw Patrick uh, Eholo making those assertions very obvious. A lot of these people are in your government. A lot of them are in your government. I don't want to mention names, but a lot of them are in your government. And it is even them that is in your government that their boys are fighting on the streets. So, I want to pray and I want to beg that if truly this is not just a mere statement, let us see these persons face police interrogation, face police investigation, because they are not above the law. These two persons, they are from Obagay Nebosa community. In that Obagay Nebosa community, my excellency, I know you know the elders, I know you know the youths. I know senior persons and even aspirants in your party in this election, they know all of these persons. So in all form of equality, fairness, and justice, and let other people know that you are not only a governor of your party faithful or your party loyalist. Some of us who are in opposition too, we are still citizens of your state where you are the governor of our state. So we want to appeal 
this is not politics. That's why I started by saying that I know that a lot of people in the state know that I'm a partisan person. I am not a member of your political institution. I don't belong or I don't share that same ideology. But what I believe in is that Edo people and our society must advance. So, Abu said that, sir. I also want to draw your attention to one last thing. This band of Okagile that you have done, government needs to tell us the next line of action. Because there are some persons who are Okagile. They don't even sell land. They don't sell land in their community. They don't do anything of such of land sales in their community. Like in my village, we have an Okagile, but we don't sell land there. So, we want to know, are those people also affected? And in a case where they are not affected, what is not the next line of action? And for those persons who are affected, what time, what time will they be brought to book? What action will be taken? We saw that when you say that the security agency should immediately, there should be a time frame, sir. Because we know that between today and November 12th, this year, a change of leadership will take place. So we want to see if this is the last good thing you will do for some of us who are, who, who are fighting for oppressed victims. Because a lot of these persons who are being affected cannot even speak up. This one, you saw how he managed to survive because of Edo Specialist Hospital. His name is Audrey Ibnadolo. He was fired with AK-47. This one is society festus because of the hunger, because of uh, the brotherly love I think he might want to have. He has gone back to go and meet the people that fired him. From information available to me because all effort to reach out to him prove ab abortive. When they saw that this general police place and order that they should be arrested, they went and started begging these two. But however, I know that these people are criminals because even me, who is talking to you, my excellency, the way these boys kidnapped me in Ezagon, handed me over to the military, is still remain baffling to me. And of course, there are a lot of persons who are also missing. And their names are also being mentioned. So my conscience of those people and my governor of those states. I just want to speak on the issue that I've just raised. Politics aside, these are clear criminal acts that need to be nipped on the board. Because these people are not above the law. So, Excellency Sir, our appeal is that these people should get uh, justice. Have you said this? We want to beg all well meaning Edo people, particularly those of you who know about these unlawful activities that have been going on in that part of Benin. We want to beg all of you to please do not only keep quiet, lend your voice and your voices to it. Because and I will repeat again, Martin Luther King once said that the hottest place in hell is reserved for those persons who during moral crisis choose to remain neutral. There are a lot of communities that we are aware of, but you cannot put 10 eggs on a crate hole at the same time. It is one after another. So therefore, we are calling on the governor this very morning to invite all stakeholders in Obagi Nebosa community, both those of them that have been driven away, both those of them that are currently occupying the community and carrying out all lawful and unlawful activities there, both those of them who are agree with the both parties, they should invite all of them so that they will identify who are the criminals in that community and get them to face the acts they have committed. Once again, 
I remain no other person than your snobble right activist. I have made it very clear that the issues going on here, Mr. Governor is aware. Three young men were killed in a Lesbos in Obage community. Nobody to date is answerable to who kill those persons. Nobody has been held liable. Some of the dead bodies, even in the vehicle, have not been found. This is the kind of society we live in. So once again, I want to believe that the Edo State government will do the right thing. Thank you and bye for now. Now we don't hear from Imalo Agbogun. Let us know what you think for comment session. If you never subscribe to Dan ARG YouTube, try make you subscribe so that make you for the hear all the things where they happen for Nigeria. Make I leave you with this video. Make you help us share them. Thank you for watching Dan ARG YouTube.